Hey guys, what is going on? Bleaker here, and I am back with another episode of the Journey for the Enchanted Crest RPG, an open world adventure. When we last left off, which was a couple, was like a two weeks, a week or two ago, and I'm very sorry about the delay, but here's kind of what happened. So let's, let's get face to face for this one. So what happened was, is Mick was releasing a different version of this map. This is like version 1.1 of this map. I was playing on 1.0. What ha what's different about this map is there's a built-in texture pack in it, which is actually pretty cool. There's a built-in texture pack. As you can kind of see around here, there is just all kinds of different stuff going on here, which includes a custom sound pack. The other thing that was going on was um, this is actually a different map than the one I was. Oh, my goodness gracious. Crap. This is a different one than I was originally playing on. Like I told you, this was version 1.1. 1. 1. I was playing on version 1.2, and I'm going to die here if I don't get my act together. I'm going to die here if I don't, like, get my act together. Let's just... So, this is the new version of the map. Pretty much everything has remained the same in the previous version, except for maybe, like, one puzzle or something which I don't really have time to go back and, like, reflect on because it was such an insignificant change that it's not really worth going back and looking at. And then there was one other thing I wanted to say. Um, and this is actually the day after, I, and I also haven't been doing this map because I actually had to do the trailer for this and get ahead on that. Where's the... So this is actually the day after I've released the trailer, too. Actually, the day I have released the trailer is the day I'm now recording this, so now I can catch back up on my recordings and stuff. And we'll have like an actual walkthrough for this map. So when we last left off, the king had asked us to get this code, this 1384. And I'm going to show you guys what that's going to do. I first have to... I'm just going to ignore all these flim flammers. Oh, there's the exit. Oh my, I am very poisoned. You may also notice that I have a an exponential amount of extra hearts. That is because these pants that I'm wearing, heart pants, they basically give me, like, super hearts. Sorry, a text message just came in. So they basically give me super hearts. Now, this is part of the side quest that you can do. I'm not going to go and do those. I'm not going to show you how to get these because that would ruin the fun. But you will. I will eventually, hopefully, I will do, like, a side quest. I'm going to, like... I'm going to... Ooh, cool stuff. My goodness gracious. I will eventually do a... I'm also, like, very short on, like, money and currency and stuff. So I have less stuff than I would have started off. But anyways. So I am going to, like, briefly talk to Mick. Mick. Uh, let me... Have him let me know, like, what... Where to start some of these side quests. And I will eventually do a showcase on that. Of, like, just the side quests of the Diamond Sword RPG. Because from what I can tell, there's a lot of them. So, King's Castle. Alright, we already managed to make it back to the King's Castle. So now, remember this number. We have 1384. The King said this was the code that I needed to get into his treasure case, which we picked up at the Lantern Temple, which is where we just came from. Oh my goodness gracious. I'll never be at full hearts at this rate. Come on. Do you have a potion? There we go. That's better. Now I don't have to worry about running so much. I think I've done everything correctly. So, um, I was going to talk about the trailer, but you guys have already seen the trailer, so there's not really too much of a point in, like, going over the stuff with the... Oh, what's this? Gate closed. Gate open. I've never gone through here before. Okay, detour. Oh, a parkour thing. Awesome. We're doing this. I'm the most hardcore of parkour. I am king of parkour. Ooh, almost lost it there. Ha! How do I, like, do that? There we go. Nice. Look at this stuff. This is some good stuff right here. So that's apparently a thing. 
I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, the more you know. Crap. Nice. Under normal circumstances, that would have killed me, but I am a super... Hello, friends. Main cook. Bitchin'. Nice, called it. Main cook, chef. Chef, chief. Sorry, I'm just gonna steal your foods here. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Get back to work, slave. Wow, he has put so much detail on this map. In my first playthrough, because I had to beta... I was one of the... I was one of the beta testers for this thing. On my first playthrough, I had... I didn't really do any of the side quests or really explore too much. Now I kind of have a chance to. You know what? I can always side explore off camera and give you guys the highlights. Let's go to the King's Vault. And I'll show you how this works. We have a number. One, three, eight, four. So one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Ta-da! An aqua cap, which is going to be very important. So I'm actually going to ditch that, put that on. And then we get the square key. Now we're going to briefly go back to the king here. And he's got something important to tell us. Oh, just really quick detour here. I want to see if there's anything else. Because this looks oddly suspicious back here. And I was right. I've never even explored this area before. <gasps> What's this? Nice. We're in the money. We're in the money. We're in the money. You poor people. You suck. Music is lyrics by Bleaker Guitar and Gaming. A registered trademark of Bleak Incorporated. Whoa. Oh! Oh my, the queen. Oh, 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 god. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Interesting, what's this? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, your highness, I'm sorry. I'm, I know the king will, like, have my tongue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Oh god, I am terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. Okay. Sorry, sorry, side questing. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this map. It's, that's what I like about it. Hello. You cleared my temple and got the treasures from the vault. With the square key and the water breathing helmet, you can enter the dungeon of gold and find the blue orb before Grendel's servants find it. You might have noticed more monsters are starting to appear throughout the lands. Grendel's doing, of course, he's using it as a distraction. And now you, that you have finished your trials and saved my temple, I, King Tallow, declare you a knight. You are worthy to serve in the first guard. Congratulations, master. Thank you, your grace. He's got one other piece for me. Cool. Oh my. The Dungeon of Gold. Okay, um, square key. Nice. Alrighty, guys. I am going to... I'm going to check the time on this. How long have I been recording for? Alrighty, I'm going to cut the recording right here because this is actually a pretty good stopping point. When we come, when we come back in the next episode, we will actually go through and beat... We will either go through the Dungeon of Gold or go through and beat the Dungeon of Gold. I don't know which is which, but I'm going to do a little bit of sorting and stuff off camera. So um, hang around, guys. When we come back next time, we'll beat it. Or we'll go through, we'll beat it. So hang tight, guys. This has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya.